Hi everybody, this is Trish from Art Journal Junkie. Now I don't have a Midori Traveler's Notebook and the Jane Davenport Butterfly Effect book which I'm desperate to lay my hands on has not yet arrived in South Africa. I'm hoping a friend of mine who's traveling from the United States next month will bring one for me. But in the meantime, I made my own and I thought I'd just show it to you so that you can see, you can upscale and you can use whatever it is you have at hand. Now, this was just a normal notebook from a company called Ordning and Reader, which I had received in a gift parcel. And it, it, it was just, it came just like this with a notebook in it. Okay, nothing else. It didn't have these, um, what are these thingies called, these eyelets at the side. So I made my own. I've got um, this eyelet kit and various different eyelet sizes. I took the small ones and I punched my own holes, put in my um, eyelets and, well actually I didn't do it to be honest, I got my husband to do it. And so I've got my own little eyelets to insert some elastic. Which, by the way, is just, um, and I saw it here just now, it is just something called hair elastic. Ah, for the life of me, can't find it now. Anyway, where is it? I've just seen, there it is. So here it is, it's just called uh, hat elastic, I beg your pardon. And it comes in a, in a you probably get it at your local Michaels or Hobby Lobby or whatever. So I just use this, it's got quite a bit of elastic, elasticity in it. Oh my goodness, it's far too early this morning. So... Let me show you what I've done. I created, uh, obviously I've got my, um, my notebook, which will come in quite handy, I'm sure. And then I have made, out of a piece of um, card, uh, what do you call this stuff? It's just very, very heavy plastic. It came off some packaging. What I did was I took some washi tape and I made my own washi tape, which I must say that's gonna come in handy. Um, and I put in a whole bunch of different uh, inserts of my own. So as you can see, I've taken <coughs> different... Uh, this was a piece of jelly print sent to me by Erin Young, which I just absolutely loved. Okay, And then I cut out some pieces of watercolour paper. And this was just a loose piece of card that I had left over. I thought I'd shove that in. As you can see, I made my own little elastics there. So um, I could slip it in whichever way I wanted myself. Okay. This was a piece of my own printed paper. Or I think it's called splattered papers. I'll put the link up above. And this is just cardstock. I have a really nifty little corner punch, so um, that's the other one. And then this one was a piece of my own jelly print, which I had made, if I'm correct, it was, I think at the same time that I made my book. Anyway, nice, and oh, this was also just a piece of, of leftover print that I just stuck on there. And then obviously my notes. And um, this is thanks to Jane Davenport. I have printed out some notes and that's gonna go in there. And there you have it. Um, I've added in obviously my ID book, my driving license, my bank card. Um, you know, these are already prepared. So just in case I feel like just doing a little bit of writing on it, uh, I think I might like to do something on that today. Um, and that pops in there as well. Another small piece in case I want to make a quick card to say thank you to somebody. Uh, some tangle tiles that I've made of my own. Out of also, again, watercolour paper. And then, just to finish it off, I'm going to take my Jane Davenport, or Jane Davenport, um, along with me with perhaps one of my water brushes and 
that's it. That's how easy it is to make your own traveler's notebook. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little demonstration, and I'd love to see if you make your own. Come on over, post them at Art Journal Junkie um, on Facebook, and uh, we'll see you there. Have a great day, and take care. Bye for now.